All right, this is video number three on how to triple boot your MacBook. I downloaded Ubuntu off of Ubuntu.com, and Ubuntu is a free piece of software, so you don't have to purchase it. You should purchase your software, like I said before, but Ubuntu is distributed free. So you go to Ubuntu.com and download the uh, latest distribution of it, which happens to be 10.04 and I used the 32-bit version for this. Uh, there's a 64-bit version, but you should probably use a 32-bit version. Uh, what I did is I burned it to a CD using Nero, which is a CD productivity tool for Windows. Uh, you could also use Disk Utility, which is what we use to partition the drive under OS X. So it's on the disk, it's in the drive, and what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the laptop on and hold the option key down, which is also the alt key. And we should get some options coming up here. We should get a refit option, a Windows option, and then a CD option, which is also going to be called Windows, but uh, is actually the Ubuntu CD. So we're going to click on the CD, and it should boot up from here. And here we go. It's going to load up the live CD, which is actually um, the way you can install this on here. You could actually run Ubuntu straight from the CD. You don't have to install it at all or you can install it, which is what we're going to do right here. All right, what you see here is a welcome screen, and it allows you to run, like I said before, run Ubuntu Linux off of the CD itself without installing it at all, or you can actually install it. We're going to go to install Ubuntu 10.04. The LTS stands for long-term support. So, like I said, this is free software, but they actually support it for three years, which is good. Then we're going to put our uh, time zone in. Ask for the keyboard layout, which we're going to use United States. All right, now we get to prepare disk space. In this case, you really want to use the last option here, which is specify partitions manually. It's the advanced option because you don't want to install it anywhere but exactly where you want it. The 40, in my case, it was the 40 gigabyte partition. So you hit specify partitions manually and forward. All right, now you get a list of partitions on your drive, and it says the type here. So basically, you just want to go by the type or the size. We'll cue you into or clue you in to what partition you want to install it on. Uh, there's the EFI here, which is the refit EFI that we put in. There's HFS Plus, which is the Mac partition. There's FAT32, and then there's NTFS. The NTFS is the Windows partition, and if you remember back, we partitioned the 40 gigabyte space for Ubuntu under FAT32. And if you look over here, it's uh, 33, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, almost uh, 40 gigabytes here. So um, that is the partition we want to put it on. So we're going to select that. Now the mouse is working a little weird here. I'm going to have to update the drivers for that later. But you click on FAT32 and you go down to change. Okay, You're going to leave the partition size as is. You're going to click on the drop down box for use as and go all the way up to ext4 journaling file system and then you're going to hit format the partition and the mount point is just the slash and then you're going to hit OK. All right, it's now formatted for ext4, and you want to select that partition again and move forward with this. All 
Now it says, do you want to return to the partitioning menu? Basically it has to do with swap space and it has to do with uh, memory allocation um, for the machine. We're not going to use swap space on this, so we're just going to hit continue. And it prompts me now to put in my user information. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, now it's asking me if I want to migrate any documents and settings from my Windows partition. I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm going to just bypass that. All right, now it's ready to install. So I'm just going to click the install button and we'll be ready to go and put Ubuntu on here. All right, the installation is complete. I just have to restart the computer now and we'll see what it's like with Ubuntu on here. All right, it should boot into refit with Linux as a hard drive option. So there we go. We're going to boot into Linux for the first time on this computer. So we're gonna select that and let's see how this works. All right, um, it should boot straight into it, but you have an option to boot into, uh, this is the Grub bootloader, so uh, it bootloaded automatically into Linux, but you could have chosen to boot into Windows or OS X if you wanted to, so from there, even though I won't be using that. And we're loading up for the first time. All right, we're logging in right now. I just put in my password information. And there we go. That is desktop Linux Ubuntu on a MacBook. Now, there's a couple things that are uh, need to be addressed here, uh, some driver issues. So what I'm going to do is go to a the Ubuntu website and do some updates on the computer and I'll be back after I've done so and let you know what I did. Okay, after I installed Ubuntu, everything on the computer works out of the box. The media keys, the trackpad, the mouse, everything except the wireless and the eyesight camera. To fix the wireless, I had to take the laptop and connect it uh, directly to my router with an Ethernet cord. And I downloaded the driver and installed it, and I'm working wireless right now, no problem. The iSight, uh, you have to install the driver from uh, OS X firmware. Unfortunately, you can't use uh, OS X Snow Leopard firmware, it won't work. You have to have uh, 10.4 or 10.5. I have neither of those, so I can't make the eyesight camera work on this, which is not a huge deal because I don't use it all that much. And if I want, I can just flip into um, you know either Windows or or Mac on this. So I have it up and running. I have everything working on it. Um, the mouse is a little bit uh, gives me a little bit of a workout when I actually use it because you have to kind of push hard on the trackpad for it to register. But everything works fine and. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you, just like always, if you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, please address them below. All right, till next time.